Prince of the Bug, was the skipper on the Irish Rover. I was just waiting for Alan to do a dance with that one. The very first New Zealand Irish Fest kicks off next week. It's a celebration of everything Irish with 60 events across three cities over four days. Irish comedian Alan McElroy joins us now to tell us all about it. It is great to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks very much. How many times in your life do you think you've heard the Irish Rovers song? Uh, every day I play it in the morning when I wake up, <laughs> just to remind me who I am. That's your, that's yeah, your alarm. That's it. Um, you're from Ireland, obviously, but you live in New Zealand. So yeah. tell us a little bit about yourself. I uh, grew up in Dublin, I moved over here about eight years ago, and uh, I like it. I'm staying here, it's easy, it's a nice life. Your summers are warm, your beaches that you can actually swim in, uh, not polluted, it's amazing. What made you come here in the first place? Uh, it's, it's a long story, we won't get into it, but I moved over <laughs> with a girl who had a uh, Kiwi family, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we, we got married, got the, got the visa. And, uh, and, and made a baby and then uh, so yeah we stayed here so my little, I have a little Kiwi kid with a Kiwi accent uh, which is interesting. And how does the family back home find that? Uh, they, they, they've come over before, they've enjoyed it but it's too far so it's, Skype makes it easier, uh, video calls and, and, and that sort of carry on or we meet them, I meet them halfway but they, uh, yeah it is what it is but when they came over they realised it was a nice life compared yeah. to them trying to sit in the garden, trying to pretend that it's yeah. warm. And obviously you've completely integrated and lost the accent. The <laughs> accent is 100% gone. Yeah. I say sweet ass now. <laughs> well, that sounds all kinds of I wrong. Know. Don't you say that again, I Alan. <laughs> I know. And I, I couldn't say jandals, though. I will never say, I'll never call them jandals. But I've, yeah, I've pretty much adapted. Every now and again I can hear my accent sort of raise at the end. Yeah. And I go, all right, I'm here, I'm here long enough. Yeah, I'm here so long heard, enough. I heard someone saying to you before, you, you know, you're here to stay, you're here for good. And you seemed quite emphatic about that. Uh, Does that say more about us or more about Ireland? No, I, I love Ireland. I'd love to be there. I went back, I uh, stayed there for about six months a couple of years ago and I loved it. I was there for the summer uh, and it was warm, which, uh, which was strange. Global warming is having a good effect on Ireland. My dad grew a palm tree in the back garden. He's very proud of it. Wow. And then I was there for Irish Christmas, which I missed uh, with the cold and the snow. So uh, I do love it there, but I just have an easy life here. Mm. And, uh, yeah, hey, it's nice. Why would you leave? Mm. Yeah, and I'm used to the warm Christmas now. I'm used to exactly, you know, yeah. and they're great. So you, when you just after you arrived in New Zealand, you were voted best newcomer at the New Zealand Comedy Guild Awards. So you've yeah. been quite busy since then, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. There wasn't much competition that year, but uh, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, it's been quite busy. I, I gig a lot, and then I run a lot of comedy quizzes uh, in bars Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, Thursdays. So I'm, I'm, I'm kept busy. I don't really have days off. Mm. You're the warm-up guy, or have been the warm-up guy been. for for seven days and shows yeah. like that. So, what exactly is that? Oh, you just have to keep the crowd entertained when when they're not. <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to you have to get you have to keep them happy and keep them laughing. Most of the time it's fine, but once I had to do it for eight hours straight, two different audiences for uh, I think it was John Owen Ben. That was tough. That was like a real job, but you had to constantly keep them uh, entertained so and laughing. So do you wheel out the same things for the two audiences? Well, I did, it took me a while to find something to play on. I MC a lot and I have a laugh with the crowd. Uh, so it took me a while to find this guy who looked like a 1990s pop star. <laughs> so I had him getting up dancing to MC Hammer. And by the end of that four hours and a new audience came in, I was clamouring for someone that looked like a 1990s pop star. <laughs> you know, you're just trying to find <laughs> what Backstreet worked before. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was mental. But, yeah, it was good fun. It's a challenge to your, to your head. So we've got the first ever New Zealand Irish Fest. Tell us a bit about that, because we've, I've got visions of top green top hats, shamrocks, and no. insane oh, to be sure. God. But there must be more to it than that. I'll be giving it that. No, it's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's a festival celebrating everything Irish. Uh, a lot of people have Irish ancestry here. There's a lot of immigrants here. And uh, yeah, so like St. Patrick's Day is what it is. It's, it's a, it, it can get messy and it's one day. This is more a celebration of uh, everything Irish. We have amazing singers coming over. Damien Dempsey, uh, Mick Flannery and Lisa O'Neill. We're doing stand-up comedy. Me and Darren Jardine, who has a day job, so he's in school right now. And uh, there's Irish movies and Irish Gaelic football and then the rugby Ireland against the All Blacks. So yeah. there's a lot of stuff happening uh, over four days. I was just about to ask you if you've got Irish ancestry, which is stupid. <laughs> yeah, I do. You, Believe it or not, I do. I have a long got... line. I have a long line of it. It goes way back. Have you got Irish ancestry? Uh, yes, from there to Australia to Norfolk Island to here. They were criminals. I have. I've got Irish ancestry mm. too, so you're right. Absolutely right. You've got a captive, aud captive audience already. <laughs> yeah. uh, so criminals. You... So t tell us. <laughs> 
That's what I meant. I know so what you mean. I know so exactly what you mean. So tell us about the international acts a bit. Uh, the big deals in Ireland, Irish people will know who they are. Uh, Damien Dempsey especially is a powerful uh, singer. Uh, he's amazing to, to watch live. The fact that he's coming over is, is, a, is a big deal. And uh, if you've never seen him or heard of him before, you should go and uh, it'll just blow your mind. Any highlights in that film festival? There is. There's a movie that I'm looking forward to see, which is, uh, it's called, I think it's called Black 47. It's a revenge western during the famine. And there's a documentary about uh, what happened in Ireland a few years ago when obviously the homeless problem uh, is like that around the world, it's like that here. Yeah. But a lot of uh, musicians and people uh, broke into derelict buildings to, to house the homeless. So there's a documentary about that as well, which is interesting and, and good to watch. There's a lot on, there's loads. So tell us a little bit about your act and Darren Judding, how's mm. that all going to work? Well, we, we did a show a few years ago where we just did bits between us. And uh, so I, it's just stand up. I talk about life, I talk about uh, having a kid, I talk about uh, uh, Tinder, I talk about living here, I talk about tattoo, I talk about whatever. I don't know what Darren talks about, I don't listen to him, but uh, it's, it's going to be fun, it's going to be a great time. He's from Belfast, you're from Dublin. He's did from the guys... north, yeah. He's... Did you guys know each other? Uh, he he well, did one in wanna... Ireland does. Yeah, oh, of yeah. course. Yeah, he's my second cousin. Like no, New he's... Zealand. <laughs> yeah, no, we, uh, I just know him through comedy and then we, we started to get on. I forced myself on him when I came over here and uh, now we can't share. I'm like donkey to his Shrek and he looks like Shrek. So uh, I, yeah, I just annoy him. That's my role in life is to wind him up and annoy him. Oh, there he is. I can see you two together there. Yeah, he looks like a poor man's uh, Channing Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that at all. So who organised this festival? Uh, Jerry, Jerry Paul. Uh, I, I, I think he's done other festivals. He's organised other festivals and then he got in touch with me and I'm the token Irish person here. <laughs> so I've been wheeled out for every interview uh, across Auckland and phone interviews uh, across the country. So uh, yeah, he's, he's put on, he's putting a lot of effort. So we're in Christchurch, Wellington and Auckland. And he's obviously... That's him. That's his, that, that's that his head. That's his hairy face. <laughs> and a muso in his own right. Now, I guess the thing too is if the phone of an interview went to a radio station, picked up and someone said, G'day, mate. Uh, wouldn't have quite say that's the same charm as an Irish person. Hey, Alan, thank you. Thank you. The 2018 New Zealand Irish Fest runs from next Thursday, 15th of November, until Sunday the 18th of November in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster and you can check out further details on nzirishfest.co.nz.